Hello again. We're now going to demonstrate how flam is uh, shown on V4. First thing we do is activate in simulation mode flam facility. To do this, we go into system setup and in page 13 we have flam or map. Even if you have no flam device connected, by selecting on on that enabling you will see objects. Here it is. We have a fake flam detected. And the simulator has introduced some nice flam objects around us. Here we are. This is what you would be looking while flying. It's right in front of you. A little bit on the right. So we have a dedicated page now. And here it is. This page is showing us flam traffic in both top view and side view and we can change by clicking on the top right if we want the, the, the side view and the top view oriented by left to right or just head up. So as we've seen for the other multi maps we can resize entirely the screen to show traffic this way or as an ordinary flam display. Of course, you just zoom in and out as you used to do with any other map on K8000. But now let's have a look. We see this little icon on the top left. If you click on this, you are enabling traces. Disabling or having traces shown has bought climb rate for shift for lift or sinks. Uh, some of you may still think be thinking that how do we know if we are recording the other objects traces? Well, LKV4 is automatically uh, logging all the traces even if you're not in this page. So when you go inside Multimap 5, uh, you find the traces of all the objects up to maybe an hour, two hours ago. There is a rotary buffer, so we save as many traces as possible. And then the older one will be removed and uh, replaced by the new one. But in the meantime, you can think about this as an instrument to find someone where was someone maybe five minutes before and where under the cloud he was lifting. So if you if you press for example click on an item here on the map like that you get the item detail for example you can and then you can rename of course or make the target. Traces appears only on the top view. Now let's go back here. You see we're just far away from from the object. So with the screen pan mode I'll shake I will position myself very near to the to the flam objects. Here I am. So now I'm right in the middle of the traffic and you see all the traces. Traces are here. They are green, light green, blue, lighter blue, darker blue. They indicate big lift, big sinks. And for this reason you click on top left and you choose only to see the lifts or no traces at all. So for example as usual you click on this nice object it's climbing very well. You decide you want to follow this guy and you make it a target and here you are target locked. This guy can run but cannot hide. Thanks a lot.